So I think these two speak a different language. <laughs> I think we're dumb. She like do da dippity. Come on. Good morning. It's day three of Disney, and today, guess where we're going? Bye. Epcot. It's time to eat, it's time to feast, till I feel like I'm deceased. So a bunch of people got up early today and I didn't necessarily feel like getting up. I was gonna get up, you know, try to get on some rides early, but I was like, I need to sleep in. I had to go over some scenes for some auditions. You know, like I said, this is still a work. This We still working on this trip. This is not a vacation, this is a work cake. It's like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and now I'm at Epcot and it's time to seize the day. One thing that makes me stand out from other amusement parkers is one, I'm not an amusement parker, but two, I don't love a line. A line, I just feel like I'm gonna waste my time. So today, I don't got no plan. I'm just gonna have some fun. I'm gonna eat some food. I'm gonna go around. I don't know where anybody is. Hopefully, I run into people. I'm just going on the adventure of life. I don't even care what happens. I did just remember that I haven't eaten breakfast yet, though. So first thing on the agenda is food. This is gonna sound so funny because I have background music, but if you grew up in a lower class black household, you know these trips, amusement parks, was kind of scarce. And if you went to Disney, you wasn't getting food, you wasn't getting drinks, you wasn't buying all that expensive stuff. You had slim pickets. And today, the pickets ain't slim. And to that I say, amen. But today I'm gonna give you some food with no budget because I can eat what I want, I can do what I want. Disney is, we flewed out. <laughs> I just saw one of my friends from high school and I got me some water because necessary when you expelling so much energy all day. Honestly, I do not know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. And like I said, I'm just gonna go on life's adventure. Right now I'm about to shop because you know, we got a gift card and I gotta make use of it before I leave because I ain't coming back no time soon. But I'll come back to Disney, I love it. I know this is for a kid, but why do I kind of want it? It's a Spider-Man backpack. It's like oddly shaped and it's the head, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. What is this madness? After buying all this stuff, I'm probably gonna need another suitcase. And I don't got no money for that because the goal is to not spend a dime on this trip. Okay, let's just see how I look in it. Don't just sit right in. So I got the Spider-Man bag and now I'm on the hunt for a Spider-Man phone case, but I'm also on the hunt for some joy, some happiness, and some food. And like Tay said, I don't know where I'm going, but like Hercules said, I will find my way. I caught myself trying to leave the bathroom and I didn't realize they had two exits. So I saw the other exit and I was like, maybe I'll go on an adventure. Maybe there's something on the other side of this door and the other door, not the one that I came in on. Red flag number one. So I go over because I just saw a boy leave out of there. I'm assuming he was working for Disney because when I went out there, why I saw dark, it was a dark room. They trying to get me. Mm -mm. Turn around, turn around. I have to say to all the people that I was just a little bit annoyed with that was going to Disney all the time, you know, the people who was just Disney regulars. Y'all, I'm sorry. I wasn't I wasn't really mad at y'all. I ain't get to go to Disney. I wasn't a Disney kid. But y'all, I get it. I have to say I get it. I get the hype. I do. Like, why can't the world be like Disney? And Disney World is a perfect name for this place because it is a whole different world and a combination of all the worlds at once. Like, let's talk about it. If you want to talk Disney, hit me up. Disney, I want to do it again. It's not even over yet. So I think these two speak a different language. <laughs> I think we're dumb. <laughs> she like fun. She like fun soup, and she like Galatia. Also known Listen. as gelato. Tell them what you have to say for yourself. Listen, it's hard to read. I couldn't see. It. I, I swear it said fun soup, but it says fun stop. <laughs> I, I swear it said Galatia. Ooh, that looks fire. Does it look like it, Buzz? Yes. Wait, look at the mochi. And daughter, yeah, it's doing fine. We're at Disney World. What else? I feel like a little girl. Oh, yeah. I might have cried today. Oh, she did. But 
Jasmine said it's okay. Oh. We're gonna eat some food. Uh -huh. Put us up in a good mood. Yeah. Get sushi in the donuts. And I'm gonna bite that oh. like yup. Oh. I can't wait to eat this stuff. Okay. I'm like, Jasmine, yup. Yeah. Can't wait for you to try it too. Yeah. I love you, you my boo. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Lauren is buying a whole bar. I am. You tell me what you want. I got you. <laughs> and cinematic move. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my wow. goodness, you guys. We got a booth. Ah. Sultry Aladdin. Slow it down. Uh in the water what has happened is that this has gone global So we having a dessert party in the middle of Epcot. We got all this stuff. We got everything. We got everything. We got everything. We got everything. What, is, what is this? We got cookies. Ooh. Banana. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Hold up, y'all. I got to get out of here. Sure. Italy pistachio cannoli. That sounds good. And since I'm special, y'all, they went to get me the vegan ice cream. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to be so full that I can't move. They gave me some dairy-free ice cream and cookies and all the mixins and mixins and... Y'all, these glasses make you see Mickey Mouses everywhere. I'm about to show them. Yeah, huh? You can't see it through the camera. And watch this. You're going to be shocked. Come look. I'm a genius. Oh, my God. You guys. Oh! That's close. Get on the bus, y'all. It's time to go. We open the park. Well, I ain't open the park today. Now we closing it. And it's still a little chilly. Today we went to Epcot and it was a very fun time. My feet did hurt. I did wear docks. Y'all, sometimes I'm just, I just gotta get out of the habit of choosing the style over comfort. I just need to be honest with myself and I'm gonna be honest with myself tomorrow because I need to give my feet a break. I woke up at like 11 today. A lot of people woke up at like six, seven, whatever, and went to Epcot early so they can ride Guardians of the Galaxy and, you know, ride those other rides. And I get it. I really do get it, especially after being at Disney for like three days. I get it. I love Disney. Would have never imagined loving Disney this much. Probably just because it costs. Money is just such a, such a huge influence on my decisions on things sometimes but i went to epcot at 11 something i did my own thing you know did a little bit of shopping got a few things i'm not gonna show them yet i'm gonna do a whole video on all the things that i got from disney but i got a, a new backpack and i got a new phone case so that's fun and then we were supposed to meet at the Guardians of the Galaxy ride at 2.20. Of course, it's Black History Month. You know, we're here for Black History. Everybody on CPC except for me. So I met with a few friends who did come at 2.20, Lauren and Jazz. And we rode Guardians of the Galaxy, which was so phenomenal. The music for the ride is crazy. They played uh, Disco Inferno. To my surprise, 100 stories high. Oh, we getting slung around and spinning and twisting and shouting and boom, boom, boom. So fun. 10 out of 10 recommend the Guardians of the Galaxy ride at Epcot. We did that and then we went around the world a little bit. You know, we went to China. We went to Mexico. We went to Germany. We went to France. We went to Morocco. We went everywhere and we were trying food, you know, getting content for the trip because that's why they brought us here. You know, we, we content created. So we did that. And then after that, it was time for us to go to the Disney show. So we finished up what we were doing and we went to see a Disney on Broadway performance with 
with Kissy, I forget her last name, and Josh. There were two performers. One of them was in Lion King on Broadway and one of them was in Tarzan on Broadway and they were really phenomenal. Then we were on our own to get dinner and then they hosted us for a dessert party and that was just pretty, pretty fun, phenomenal. We got to watch, we also got to watch the light show and you know, I think that's the last thing before the park closes. So we got to do that. We got to wear these special glasses that we could see like Mickey Mouse shaped lighting elements, whatever you want to call it. And I thought it was very phenomenal and very, very fun. You know, there was music playing in the background. It was just such a good experience and oh God, I also talked to my grandmother today and she was like, it's like a FaceTime call. I'm on a FaceTime call with my tater tots. That's what I'm going to call my pants. <laughs> I was on the phone call with my grandma and she was telling me how proud she was of me. And she was like, who would have thought like you would be working for Disney in this way, like for social media and like them covering your cost to come to Disney. And I was like, not you, not me, but the powers that be. So here we are. I'm just so grateful. And a lot of people have cried on a trip just because of the nostalgia that Disney gives them or the fulfillment that they get because they didn't get to experience Disney when they were a kid. I know I didn't get to experience Disney until like I was 17 years old and it was for my little brother's birthday and we was balling on the budget so it wasn't the most fun thing I don't know I didn't really enjoy it to be honest so I don't really remember much from it I went to Disney a second time with my friends when I was on a little break from college or summer maybe and we went to Disney they took me to Disney we went to all four parks in one day so we did 12 hours of Disney so that's a different experience and this time around it just feels like full everything it just feels full fulfilling number one it feels exciting it feels new we get to experience one park a day and we get to be here for the whole week and we can double back eventually we can shop everything's covered and it's just a beautiful situation so i'm grateful for that but we ate dinner and then we went to the dessert party they had desserts they even brought us some vegan desserts and like i said we watched the light show and then we went home and y'all it was hot all day and then of course when the sun went away so did the heat the floor is usually warm day round dare i say and it's february <laughs> what's going on we should all be worried <laughs> but i enjoyed myself i enjoyed disney day three at epcot and thank you for watching and tuning in and i really appreciate it and more to come always thank you come again